So is that happening somewhere far away or it's happening here or? Who is responsible for this? Where we are? Out of these two orders, which order is responsible? Human order. Human order. So that's where we are. And this analysis that is done in this video, you can see that, that this is what we are offering as the problem. What do you think after all this discussion for the last five and a half days? Is it the problem or is it this symptom of problem? <coughs> so 
So we have to find out whether it, if it is the problem, then a solution may be the right solution. If it is only symptom of problem, then we have to find out what is the real problem. Isn't it? So you can see, you know, this solution. If we go back to 70 em emissions, is it going to solve the problem? Is it a solution, or it is? Only some sort of, you know, band-aid. So this is only one uh, one way of uh, solving. It's not. It's not. Uh, not all of our. The solution is not in holistic way. Only one way. Yeah. So it is part of the solution, sir. Or is it the whole solution? We have to look into it and see what it is. And what do I do actually? That is very important. That is the most important question. You can say, you know, such a big problem. What can I do? You know, a little bit of plastic here and there. How does it matter? It's okay, it's convenient. So let's just, you know, I will see tomorrow. Let's don't worry about it right now. So we have been doing that. So then the question is, what kind of planet are we going to live? Is it a better planet or worse planet? And these are our own children, we are going to leave it for them. So that's the question. The question that they ask in the end, future generations are likely to ask this question, what were you doing when there was still time? Why didn't you wake up? That is the question. And he says, and here, see, only hear the question now. But that's not enough. Hearing the question is not enough. You know, this is not enough. <coughs> this is not enough. That's what we have been saying from the first day. So this is the problem actually, the way of our thinking. And in fact, in the beginning, he says that what gets us into trouble is not what we don't know, but what we know for so sure, but that ain't so. That we know for so sure, but which is not so. This is the problem. This is the problem. This is a major problem. Continents are so big, they cannot move. Or the nature is so, you know, huge that man cannot have any lasting impact on it. <coughs> the problem. <coughs> what do you think? That is a problem or something else problem? In this also, in this also, what is the problem? In the human being, what is the problem? The body or the self? self. And in the self, what is the problem? This is the problem, not seeing this is the problem. Seeing only this or mostly this, as we were able to analyze in our own you know, desires, thoughts and expectations that a large part of our, you know, imagination is running on the basis of this or this. In the human being, that is the major problem. And what he is saying here, what we know for sure that just ain't so. We have believe it so strongly that we don't even hear or we don't even see what is. We refuse to see what is. Or we hesitate to see what is. We don't refuse, but we. Very difficult to see what is. And then 
then we we'll just leave what we are getting a little bit dirtier to our children. So what we'll be doing? Yeah. Through that video, the picture, uh, I think uh, to me uh, it is giving a message that that when we have focused too much on the environment and on external issues, that we are damaging the only one planet, which is our home. And it's all because of our human desire that we have been focusing too much on the physical needs rather than focusing and addressing the you know, self. I think Obviously, this is what yeah. it is. Yeah. So I think the solution should be, now we should orient and redirect our focus more on the thinking, more on the human values. I think this is what it is trying to say. We need to look into that. So it's basically a problem of making those assumptions which are just not right and having so much of, you know, uh, getting stuck to those assumptions that we are not able to see the reality as it is. And so there are so many of these examples that are there that we don't see the problem, we are seeing the symptom. We are seeing the symptom and we are concerned about it. It's not that we are not concerned about it. Everybody is concerned about it. But because they are seeing the symptom and not the problem, that is why they are not able to work on the solution. Or whatever effort they make creates some other problem. Like this green revolution created another problem. It's a very major problem. If you see the food production in <coughs> India, it's an alarming situation. Or water table in India. So if we you know, work with this set of you know, goals, knowingly or unknowingly. It's mostly unknowingly. Nobody, not I would say mostly, it is unknowingly. If we look at ourselves, our level of awareness of this, what does it look like? Does it look like this or does it look well organized? Eh? Looks like this or looks like this? This one. So with that, somebody will tell us that, you know, this is everything, money is everything. Come first in class. Be the richest in your family. You know, show the other person down. Tit for tat, etc., etc. So we buy it, we take it, we accept it. And then we start working on it. Because our own state of being is like this. If we work for, you know, this from here to here, through our education and sanskar, then that will not be our goal. So we can fix our goal, we can correct it. Then we will start having some clarity about this and then we can make more effort for this and at the same time analyze the problem correctly. And it's not something new that these people are saying. This is a report from uh, 67, what is it? 72, Love <coughs> of Rome report. In fact, this report was suppressed because it was so, you know, critical. Oh, you are just talking, you know, these things happen, little bit of thing you are getting worried about. It.
what can I do? Everybody else is also doing the same thing. All others, not me. <laughs> so, if you see a more recent report, this is quite alarming. This is from this year. This is where we are. mentioning that there are several studies that are indicating, you know, that as they are trying to calculate now how many years more if it keep going at this rate, where will we be? Stephen Hawkins. Yeah, Stephen Hawkins had come to India few years back, you know, and he gave his speech, all that. And some of the students, they asked him, you know, what are the, some of the problems in the world. So he had this long list, terrorism, this, that, and the other, all that. So then they asked him that, you are a good, great scientist. What is the solution for this? So he said that by 2013, we should leave the planet. <laughs> we have to find a solution with this planet. We have such a beautiful planet. <laughs> but all these events that we are seeing, they are the result of these question marks. Yes. According to the recent uh, the I think statistics that I have seen, that I think the 2005 was the warmest. Warmest, yeah. And I think in India, I think it went to 50 degrees centigrade. Yes. We should, in few years' time, that will become our average. Uh, and according to that findings, that uh, we say that. Himalayas, Himalayas will melt and then Bhutan will be threatened uh, you know, with a lot of floods, etc. And then... Floods and then drought. Yes. And in Bhutan, and then the we have been managing the forest. I think how many percent? 75 percent is under the forest. 72 percent. Yes. And then in five years time that we are trying to get rid of the all chemical fertilizers. You know, this is what Bhutan is trying. But then with a small country like mm -hmm. ours, we do this and then we face this problem. No? Yeah, exactly. I think this requires the other world leaders. Yes. Like the, I think the video they have shown was the US. <laughs> I think the emission they produce and then the uh, effect that was made was the highest by US. And they are the one that who did not sign again the protocol, Kyoto Protocol, you know, <laughs> Australia and the and yes. US. So this is something, you know, which uh, smaller countries like Bhutan, we have been doing this best and then the other larger countries, you know. Yeah. So we have been always trying to follow the other countries. Like <laughs> today we say that anything that you bring, a small clothes or small things you buy, where did you buy it? Oh, this is a US made, you know, coming from uh, United States of America. Something. And then whatever we do the examples, we always talk about the American model. So this is from America, this is US. And then it all started from uh, US and now the US, I think finally they have uh, realized and then they are agreeing that, uh, you know, in the presentation that they have done this damage. But yet the solutions that they are not bringing to They are still going for the... Uh, 
Chinese. In 2010, they brought uh, 10 million cars in one year. So that means you can uh, imagine the emissions that it will produce and then the energy consumption on that. So there are, we have to understand you know, and we have to do our part as an individual, as a family, as a nation. We have to do our part. We have to be clear about it. We can't say somebody else has created a mess, so now what can I do? You know. We have to do our part. And if we can do our part, then we can help the other. If we don't do our part, we cannot even be in a position to help anybody else. So we have to do our part. So if we see, you know, what's happening in India, this is the situation of the rainfall. This is government data. For this year, this is the situation. All negative. Two problems are there actually. It's not just the only rainfall. But the second problem is more serious that we have created our soil in the farms and you know cities. It has become almost like concrete. City is actually concrete, farm looks like concrete. Because of all the fertilizer and all this garbage that they put, the water doesn't soak into the ground. So it flows off. So we have less rain, then most of it flows off. Then we say, oh my god, now what to do? And <laughs> So pull water, more water from the sea and all this pump technology. We say, yeah, we need better pumps, pull more water. It's very funny, isn't it? And over the years, the trend is like this, you know, it's going like this. This is India. But what we need to do, is to recognize this we need to understand what is our goal as an individual what is our goal as a society what is our goal and only then if we are able to move from here to here and then both of these to this like that we will come to this point if we are missing the first part, then what do you think? You will read this or no? So we have to recognize our goal. And then, this has been you know, discussed about nature. That we need to be able to see the reality in nature. That there are four orders. They are in a relationship of mutual fulfillment, not survival of the fittest, not struggle. And there is every provision for human beings to live in harmony with nature. We need to be able to see that. This is a picture of Triple IT Hyderabad where their students of technical institution and IT institution sitting in their five acre farm. <coughs> this is the director and these students are sitting around the fire and they are discussing this. And if you see their campus, you can, like Latoji was saying, you know, you can smell the difference. Because there are so many trees over there and just outside there is so much of, you know, vehicle smoke and all that garbage. So as soon as you go inside you can feel the difference. Obviously you can feel the difference. Yeah. So that's what we have been discussing. That we need to understand what is the holistic solution or harmony at all the levels. To then find out what is my role in this and then to work on it. Tomorrow, Vinishni will discuss a little bit more about natural farming and what is it that we can actually do. And it's not insignificant, it's very significant.
And as Dinesh had mentioned, that if we are able to understand ourselves, it will take hundred years for us to, you know, reach everybody. If we start, of course, that is very important. <laughs> If you don't start, then it will take, you know. So you have to put the gadi in first care, you know, otherwise it won't go anywhere. <laughs> right. So, 100 years. If you bring it into education, it's a program of 20 to 50 years. And if the whole, you know, <coughs> set of systems start working on it, matter of 10 to 20 years. But we have to start with ourselves. We have to start with ourselves. And like Umeshji was saying, I don't want to wait even a second. There is no time to you know, keep thinking, okay, now what? Maybe this is right, maybe it is not. I'll think about it tomorrow. Yes, small, small thing. There's a plantation. Proper waste management. All these things can be done. All these things can be done. Yeah. So, today's session was long, you know, a lot of problem, but there is a very simple solution. We have been doing a lot of hard things, you know, difficult things. We can start doing simple things. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll take a break and come back and forth.